Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we'll try to solve some examples on pointers and multidimensional arrays. And this video is very, very important for you to understand. And please try to focus as many times, uh, watch this video as many times as possible until you get the clarity. And we are going to make this video uh, very slowly so that you can have better understanding. In the link, uh, the, <coughs> the concepts related to uh, pointers and multidimensional arrays, how the uh, how the elements of the multidimensional arrays will get accessed how the compiler what are the mathematical calculations that are done by the compiler to access the elements of the multidimensional arrays has been clearly explained in our previous videos if you haven't watched those videos please watch those videos and come back here so we are explaining this concept under the assumption that you have already watched those videos and every video in our channel is going to be part of entire course or a playlist our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts the link for the playlist is provided in the description below now coming to this class this is the example that we have taken we have created a two dimensional array a 3 comma 4 means three rows and four columns okay and these are the elements and uh, how the things will get distributed it is based upon the number of columns so four values will come uh, into one uh, one uh, four columns uh, each uh, four columns means uh, four values will be taken into one uh, row and the next four into second and the next four into third row so as we have three rows so these elements will get will get distributed in this way so now by the definition of multi-dimensional array so that in the in the discussion we have discussed that multi-dimensional array means it is an array of arrays so the definition itself states that it is an array multi-dimensional array is an array of arrays okay so this definition helps you a lot okay so now in order to access the elements by using the multi-dimensional array this is one of the way but if you want to use uh, pointer arithmetic or address arithmetic and using those pointer arithmetic and address arithmetic if you if we want to access the elements how that axis has to be so this is why this is how the array elements can be accessed right uh, one comma two means first row uh, uh, this one so the six will get printed so a of one means uh, this first row uh, and 2 means uh, third column so 0 1 2 so first row third column means this one okay 6 will get accessed but using pointer arithmetic if we if we want to access we can access the array arithmetic by using the pointer arithmetic a plus 1 a plus 1 plus 2 so these concepts you have already discussed you in the first one dimensional arrays in two dimensional arrays how the things will work so as as the definition states that a is an array okay okay a is an array of arrays a is an array of arrays okay so now now first first uh, if you take a if we take a what it contains is it is 100 okay now we want to access the first row the element in the first row we want to access this a of 1 comma 2 which is 6 so in order to access that what we have to do is in two dimensional arrays whenever we give a plus one a plus one means we are moving to the first row in the previous array declaration a plus one means we are going to go to the next element but in the case of two dimensional array a plus one means we will go we will go to the next row one means next row okay okay so okay so this is a uh, initially is having 100 a plus 1 means 116 so a sorry a plus 1 means 116 116 okay so the next is star of so to this if we apply star a plus 1 star means we are going into this 
as we have discussed star means the value stored inside so this is an array and whenever we create a star for a plus 1 means this 116 star of 116 means we will come into this and this address will be picked out the first starting address star of a plus 1 is going to be inside this address 116 think of that point okay and we we want to cross so within this array we want to cross two elements we want to cross two elements we as we are here from here we want to cross two elements so plus two what this plus two will become so the uh, entire thing will become it is 124 and so now we are here now we are here 124 plus two means we are here uh, a plus one star means 116 plus two means so 120 plus another element it is 124 that's why plus 2 1 comma 2 okay 1 means first row so this is how the uh, pointer arithmetic for two dimensional arrays will work so this star is very important star means we will come inside and the starting address we are going to take because it is an array of arrays I am stressing that point for you to get the idea. Okay. So this is going to be a plus 1 star is going to be 116. And here from here we want to move two steps. Means two uh, values. For that we are going to take it as plus 2. Which is going to be. So 116 plus 2 is going to be 120, 124. So the value of this entire thing is 124. Now we have to get this value. Now we have to get this value. So we have to go inside it. Okay. So the memory location we got it. The value stored in it means we have to give star. Star of 124 is going to get 6. Okay, so this is how the things will work with respect to two uh, with respect to two two dimensional arrays or multi dimensional arrays. So we have taken two dimensional arrays. The concepts of three dimensional arrays will try will try to understand in our later videos. So uh, this is how because these examples are very very important and they are very frequently asked in placements and also in gate questions. Okay, so what we will think is a plus 1 means we will move here and star means 1 will be taken 1 plus 2 means 3 3 star means it is going to be a mistake. So it is a integer star. It is not going to happen, but two dimensional arrays will not work in that way. Please try to get this point. Okay, so this is all about uh, this is how the things will work. Hope you got the clarity on this concept. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubt regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching